I sent a word to confirm you that I didn't bring you this far to leave you, that I actually know what I'm doing, I actually know where I'm taking you, and I know what's next in your life. Amen, amen. Tell somebody, God knows what's next in my life, in my life. Go right quickly, go right quickly, go right quickly, hallelujah, to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, yeah, 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 Isaiah, the 42nd chapter. Isaiah, 42nd chapter. He said, I am the Lord, verse 8, I am the Lord, that is my name and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Verse 9, behold, the former things are come to pass. Would you put that in the New Living Translation for me? Verse 9. Put in the New Living Translation. He said, everything I prophesied has come true. Well, I'm waiting on somebody to say something. Oh, I thought you would owe God a praise because there were some things he said to you that actually came true. Uh-huh. Everything I prophesied has come true. There are some things that God has said to you that have come to pass. Can I get a witness? One or two people. One or two people. Amen, amen. Everything that God has promised you has come true. And now I will prophesy again. Lord, have mercy. Everything that is prophesied has come true. No, it didn't come true overnight. No, it didn't come true when you were in the thick of it. But it came to pass. There are some things that you yourself know that if God had not gotten involved in, you'd be in a mess. You'd be shipwrecked. But somebody spoke a word. Anybody can say he sent his word to me? God spoke to me. Come on, say, when I was weary, he spoke a word. Lord have mercy, Jesus. When I was warned, he spoke a word. When it didn't look like it was coming to fruition, he spoke a word. And everything that was spoken has come true. And now I will prophesy again and I will tell you the future before it happens. Wait a minute, wait a minute. See, look, 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 look. Now, in order for God to speak again and tell you the future before it happens, then you got to go back to Psalm 68 and verse number 8. Man, you, verse number 7, you got to remember how God brought you out. Well, I can't get no better. You got to remember, you know, why don't you tell somebody he brought me out one time? You just don't know he brought Oh, that's mighty pitiful. That's mighty pitiful. I'm telling you, drunks do better in the bar. Come on, say, he brought me out one time. You, in fact, tell somebody, you don't know my testimony. You don't know what God has done for me. You can't tell me it ain't going to happen because it's happened before. You can't tell me it ain't going to bless me because it blessed me before. You can't tell me I ain't on the verge of a miracle because I was on the verge of a miracle before. Come on, say, I've been here and I've done that and God did it once. He about to do it again. And so what happens when you start talking like that? Ooh, what happens when something goes wrong and, and you get up and, and rather than murmur and complain and whine about it, you get up and catch your little one too. Catch your little one too. And the devil see you catching your little one too. And he don't realize you ain't blessing God for what he's about to do. You blessing him for what he's done because, oh yeah, I tell him that. He told me to tell you there's still some praise left in your last situation. Lord. Lord have mercy. Ooh, that, come on, tell your neighbor, say, there's still some glory left in your last breakthrough. There's still some deliverance left in your last, come on, somebody. Everything. So watch that. He's sitting there and you're giving some glory to God. So what happens when you start praising God when things were, when you start thinking about how God brought you out when things were kind of weary, kind of tight, and it didn't look like it. When you were living on your last dime, you, I know y'all remember that. Wasn't that last week? You was at your last dime just last week and God brought you out. And God helped you. Amen. Doors were closed and they began to open. Come on, say just last week, just last week. I got one of those miracles just last week. Watch this. He said, he said, when you remember those things and you start, and the earth, and earth started to shake a little bit. Ay, 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 ay. Lord have mercy. That's what God was trying to get us to do. He said, stir up the gift within you. When he told Tim to stir up the gift, he was saying, arouse yourself. Arouse yourself. You need to look back over your life and think things over. God's been good to you. Amen. I tell you, I tell you what, let me do this before I go any further. Before I go any further, take 10 seconds and think about something God did for you that you didn't think he could do or you didn't think he would do, but because it was prophesied you was going to be done, you chose to believe it and you got just what you wanted. And girl, you remember you praise God up a heap. Man, I'm telling you, there's still about 10 seconds worth of praise left in that. Oh. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait a minute. Let me tell you. Oh, I'm about to shout myself. Let me tell you the good news about that. The good news about that is why you were thanking God for what he did way back when and you recognized there was some praise in it. God said, okay, I will now tell you the future before it happens. Glory to God. I 
I drop you in and go. Oh, oh. Lord, how mercy. He said, I now tell you the future before it comes to pass because you glorified me. Now watch this. Go to verse number Isaiah 61, verse number 10. I, I'm going to close. I'm going to close. I'm going to close because I came to give God some glory today. Verse number 10 says, 42 and 10 said, listen, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. Now why would I greatly rejoice in the Lord my God? Why would I come to GLH Ministries? Would I come with a praise? Would I come shouting and praising the God? Because that's why I got my last word in the praise service. Ah, that's what God spoke me the last time in a praise sermon. So when I come back in the presence of the Lord, I will greatly rejoice this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Last time, last time when I came, I was so burdened because I didn't think I was going to make it. The preacher said, praise the Lord for your deliverance. And I did like that and I did like this. And, and you know, I tried to get it on. I tried to get it on. And then it came to pass. So I'm coming in up with the full blast this time because I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge, I'm on the verge, I'm on the verge. Let me tell you what it is. Why would I come in here praising and shouting, shouting and glorifying God? Because God has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. Because see, I'm going to tell somebody, I say, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. Say, I ain't never told nobody this before. Come on, talk to your neighbor. Say, I'm going to tell you the truth. I ain't never told nobody this before. Actually, when that stuff was going wrong, I had a little bit to do with that. I had that. Yeah, yeah, see, I wasn't in all that great of standing. Come on. Don't look at me in that attitude because I, I did have one foot out, you know. I, you know, may, maybe I had my back here, but I don't know. But see, I wasn't in all that good of standing. But I'm so glad when I come into the house of the Lord, I can bring him a praise because he clothed me with the garment of salvation. I'm so glad I'm saved. Tell somebody, and I know I'm saved. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has, he has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments. And as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. Come on, say, look at me. This is what God made me. Now, if ain't nobody happy about what God made them, you certainly ought to be. Look what God done for me. Come on, say, look what God done for me. Yeah. Oh, that's mighty, 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 mighty sad. When we were in the military, where my military guys at? Uh, we used to have a cadence we used to sing saying, Mama, Mama, can't you see what the army's done for me? Uh, ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, can't you see what God has done for me? Lord, have mercy. I can't get no witness. Uh, why don't you tell somebody he has been good to me God healed me God delivered me he healed my family he increased my goods he blessed my coming in he blessed my going out the Lord been good can I get a witness the Lord he's been good can't you see it can't you see it? Can't you see that the law? Somebody shout glory to God. Somebody shout glory to God.